Hello everybody, this is Trees This One and over a week ago I woke up with an incredibly painful tongue and I realised that I'd probably been sleeping with my biting my tongue with this broken tooth at the back of my mouth. Now this was extremely painful, I couldn't talk properly with it and so that was a Sunday, so on the Monday I started looking for this because I thought I'd seen it in a chemist before to repair my tooth. But before I actually went into the chemist, when I woke up that morning on the Monday, I started talking to my body and saying, I recognise this pain, but I am say, telling you now that I don't want my you tongue to rub against my tooth and t tooth not to hurt my tongue. And I kept saying this on and off, and I said, you can be friends, you can be near each other, but you can't argue, you can't um, be wrestling with each other. You stay away from each other, but you can still be friends. And by the time... I had bought this and I decided not to use it that night, it stopped. I woke up the next morning and I thought I'd do, use this in the morning so that would have been the Tuesday and it had stopped. I was waiting for it to start because as soon as I started talking to more to my son when I'm taking him to work it started hurting because it's rubbing on my tooth. No, not, no rubbing. So I have recognised over the last, well, years how powerful the mind is but a lot more in the last six months because my mind, I told my body what to do. I told my tongue not to rub any more my tooth and my tooth not to rub on my tongue and it has stopped. And so this is why I haven't had to use this. My mind, as is yours, is extremely powerful. And we can talk to our body and tell it what to do. So if you believe you're, that you're ill, you will be ill. If, for example, I started to get a pain somewhere, I would say I recognise that pain, but it's not me now, and I wanted it to go. And I will say that, not repeatedly, I'll say it a few times, you know, and then if it doesn't go, I'll start to say it more, and I'll say it when I'm going to bed, and then I'll get up in the morning. This is what has happened. So my tongue is now not hurting, it's not rubbing on my tooth. And when actually through the week, it started, I could feel it sort of rubbing on my tooth, I said straight away to it in my head, Please don't do that. I said, get away from the tooth. You're not um, enemies. You're not rubbing each other up. You know, so you're not fighting. And stay away from each other. Be near each other, because obviously I want my, my tongue to come out, or my teeth to come out. So I said, so you can stay near each other, but you can't fight. So it's gone, and that's why I haven't had to use this. The power of your mind. We haven't been told about this enough. Perhaps because people don't want us to use it. But you can do anything you want to with your body. Demand, it changes, tell it what you want to change it to. That's very important. Because like you said, if you had toothache and you wanted the toothache to go away, it could either come out, couldn't it? The tooth could fall out or, or um, <laughs> you, you, it could stay in. So you have to be careful what you say. So if you said you had toothache and you said, I want the pain to go now. The pain, I'm demanding that the pain goes now, but I will still have my tooth. You know, say it so that you're saying the tooth is still going to be there, but the pain is going to go. You have to be careful, you see. Choose your words wisely. Well, thank you all for listening.